Hi, just um, part two of what should have been a very simple um, little video about changing out the spare and pinion gear um, in this Dromeda um, 1 18th scale truck. So in the last video I changed out these two cogs, effectively the pinion and the spur. Previously they have been pretty chewed up and um, it got to the end of their useful life. As you can see the teeth are pretty worn away on that one and the teeth are sort of completely nibbled away on that one. So I did that um, but before I could get any footage um, the motor was pretty tired and it failed so when I went out for a little drive let me turn this on the, the motor barely you see that it's got no real power so everything else is working the ESC is all good but the motor is just completely dead so I had to go out and get a new motor Luckily, like anything with uh, these cars, everything's really cheap. So rather than getting a Dromeda motor, I got the slightly cheaper Ripmax from the local shop. Um, I've already popped the, uh, the tail of that through the packet to make sure it works, and that's absolutely fine. So what I'll do, I'll quickly get the motor out and fit this one. So the first thing to do is simply unplug the lead. Um, there is a sort of cable tie on there but I think what I'll do I'll just simply snap that off uh, snip that off and um, pull the wires through and then I've got a spare moment another day I'll make everything nice and tidy so that's off these wires can just pop out of the cable tie I'll tighten that up a bit and uh, then we'll unscrew it on the bottom All right so I've got the old motor out there obviously the cable's been snipped off for ease um, new motor, one's Dromeda, one's Ripmax, but I just said my eye, they're clearly the same unit. I think the Dromeda replacement is a couple of quid more. So here's the uh, the Ripmax ready to go in. I've put a little curl on the wire there just to keep it neat and tidy. Um, we only get this pinion on. Well, actually, we need to get the motor mount on first, so I'll pop on there, then the pinion, and then we'll sort out the gear mesh. Okay, so that's the uh, the motor on the mount, the pinion's in. Um, what I've found is that with this in situ, it's virtually impossible to get to that um, bolt with the tools I've got, so I've tightened that up as much as I can, and there's still a little bit of flex to help set the gear mesh. Um, so I'll get that mounted up on the buggy and uh, we'll have a fiddle with the gear mesh. Okay so the gear mesh is set um, as I showed in the other video it's a case of making sure there's a little bit of play between the, the pinion and the spur um, and that they both turn freely. Now when I popped into my local hobby shop to pick up the uh, the new motor. Um, the beauty of local hobby shops is they can give you advice whilst you're there and uh, what the guy said is basically make sure you keep turning and turning and turning the, uh, the spur and pinion um, because actually it will take about I think he said about 20 turns of the wheels before um, you've had the, 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 the teeth engage at every possible location so bearing in mind the cogs may not be perfectly um, round, they might have slight deviations, you've got to make sure you don't have any pinch points somewhere around, so if, of, if on every 20th turn you find a pinch point, um, you're going to knack your motor. So I've, I've whizzed that around, it's looking like it should do, um, just turn it on and give it a quick go with the, with the power. Um, also the beauty of a local hobby shop is they can order stuff in for you. So what I've arranged is uh, they're getting in they're getting in my uh, next my next car. Um, 
and they've done a price match on a fantastic deal um, which is being run by one of the big um, web-based uh, RC vendors and they're getting me a, a lossy um, Mini 8 um, for about 150 quid which is a great deal I think so that's going to be my next car so soon there will be an unboxing and some running videos of that um, but this all looks good the motor's fitted um, so before I break it again I think we better get some footage okay Okay, I was hoping to be able to cut in some footage of the car running finally on the LiPo. I think I've promised this for a few videos, and there's always been something in the way. Um, initially it was the spare and pinion, then the motor failed, and then what's happened again? Well, I've run it for about two or three minutes on the LiPo before I turned on the camera, and that time the motor became incredibly hot and it failed. <laughs> so I think probably the conclusion to that story is that these cars in their sort of stock form aren't very well suited to LiPo batteries, it's just too powerful for them but looking at it what's happened is the uh, the tail of the, the lead here has actually popped off where it should be so it got so hot that the, the soldered um, connection failed so it might be a quick fix, the motor might not be beyond recovery, so there is hope that I'll get it running again. Um, however, what I did find is that when I sort of ran it, um, having put together a new spur and pinion and getting the new motor in it, when I ran it on the nickel metal hydride, um, although people sort of think nickel metal hydrides are pretty rubbishy batteries, which I guess they are compared to a LiPo, um, it ran really well. So I think probably there would always been an inherent problem with the gear mesh in this particular um, example that I had. So actually, you know, my, my six six to eight minute run times with the nickel metal hydride, which made me determined to get lipo in this, um, that's now up to probably a good quarter of an hour, which is much more acceptable. I've got a better charger, so it can be charged an hour rather than four hours. So actually, probably for these little cars. Um, the best investment you can make is, first of all, open up the uh, the gear cover, make sure the gear mesh is acceptable, work out what you need there, um, get a better charger, and you can get a one amp charger for only a tenner, so that that will sort of speed up charging considerably, um, and maybe stick with a stock nickel metal hydride. Um, just my opinion. Um, you know, that might change as I learn more about the cars. As I said in uh, in, in an earlier video, I've just ordered a Lossy Mini 8. Um, they're running at a brilliant price at the moment on various outlets, and the local hobby shop matched it, so that should be coming along soon, and that will use the LiPos, and it is suited to their use, so that will be good. Okay, so in conclusion, Dromeda, still great car. Um, Rip Max, I'm sure, equally good because, as far as I'm concerned, they're, they're both the same thing. Um, but maybe in their stock form, LiPo is a step too far. Um, invest in a good charger for your nickel metal hydride, maybe a couple of nickel metal hydrides, make sure your gear mesh is what it should be, and, uh, and I think you'll have a good time. Okay, hope that's useful. Cheers, bye.